Hey, this is Gabriel Duplicating Systems, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install a Canon driver for your Windows device. So first, open up a web browser and go to usa.canon.com. Go to Drivers and Downloads, and type in the device you want to install a driver for. In this demo, it's going to be for a 4525. Click on Drivers and Downloads again, and then install this driver, UFR2 underscore V30.30. Once your download is complete, head on over to your Downloads folder, and you can do so by going down to this bar and clicking Show in Folder. So this is a zip file, and to unzip it, you simply have to double-click it. And it's going to ask where you want to extract the file to. And I want to extract all the files inside to my Downloads folder. Now that the files are out, I'm going to double-click this folder, and now click on Setup. Agree to the License Agreement. Click Custom. Next, add new printers. Next, and click on the printer you're installing a driver for, 4525 in my case. Next, add port, standard TCP slash IP port. Next, and now type in the IP address for your printer. If you don't know your printer's IP address, I have a video in the upper right corner, it's gonna be this gray card. And in that video, I'm gonna show you how to find out your IP address for your Canon printer. I know mine already, so let me go ahead and type it in. 192.168.1.100. Next, finish. And right here, I can rename the printer to something a little bit more friendly. I'm gonna call it a Canon 4525. If you want, you can set, you can click on these boxes and set your printer as a default, or you can share this printer with other computers on your network. But I'm not going to click any of these boxes, and I'm just going to continue. Now click Start, and it is installing your driver so that you can print from this new printer. Now that the installation is complete, it's asking you to restart your computer now. I'm not going to do it for this demo, but I recommend that you immediately do this so that you can use your printer as soon as you can. So for right now, I'm just going to click on Exit, and that's it. Now my printer has been added to this computer. I have another video in the series showing you how to create Canon printing presets for a Windows device. And in that video, I'll create two different presets, a black and white single-sided department ID preset and a color single-sided department ID preset. And if you want to learn how to do that, you can click on the video in the center of the screen right now. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us down in the comments below or contact us directly at Duplicating Systems. Our contact information is in this video's description. I hope this video helped, and thank you for watching.